So you've seen the videos on how to make your footage look cinematic. I thought I would put all the tips into one video on how to nail the film look every time. Numero uno, starting off simple, everyone knows this, fake flat bars, matte bars. It's pretty much trying to change the aspect ratio of your video. Regular videos usually shop 16 by 9 on most DSLRs nowadays, but usually people will crunch it down. Put a couple fake matte bars on the video to make it look like a more cinematic aspect ratio. Number two, a color grade. Super easy to add a more cinematic footage. You're just going to throw a color grade over. What color grade is, is pretty much coloring the image. Make it look better than what it was originally. Let me just show you how to quickly throw on a color grade. Come to Lumetri Color, and then here, if you select on your clip, you can come to Creative, and you can throw in all these regular LUTs that they have for example here that was really intense but there you know there's a color grade now the footage is more cinematic adding depth of field is a really good way to make your footage look more cinematic pretty much what you're doing is focusing in on a subject as you can see here if I come closer the background gets more blurry depth of field is great it just really lets you put focus on your subject and it's a very cinematic look nowadays smooth footage I'm sorry but if your footage is shaky it's just not gonna look cinematic at all it needs to be nice and buttery smooth ways you can do this you can get a steady cam you can get a gimbal gimbals are electronic they're great they usually don't have much fault and you can do more natural movements more manual and you have a lot more control over it but it does take a little bit of practice if you want smooth footage check out this video here i give you all the handheld tips for getting smooth footage you can turn your footage from this into this Slow motion is a very cinematic look nowadays. How slow motion is achieved normally is by shooting at a higher frame rate. So when you're dropping the frame rate to a lower frame rate, you are adding more frames. So if I do 60 frames per second and my timeline is at 24 frames per second, I can only fit 24 of those 60 frames in the first second. Music, music is a huge aspect in cinematic and film looking footage. You wanna make sure your music really complements the visual. So look at your visuals, see what type of visuals, what type of mood is it giving off and match your visuals. Also, another tip I will give you is cut to the music, cut to the beat. It's very natural for the eye. If you are to cut on a bass drop or just a snare hit, it's gonna be a lot more normal if you're just cutting randomly. Cinematic sound effects are super useful. If you look at just the audio of a movie, most of it is cinematic sound effects just to add emphasis. You wanna add hits, you wanna add rises, you wanna add whooshes, you wanna add pops. You wanna add all this sort of stuff to help bring out the environment around you. I put a video on an assets folder out. You can check it out right here this pretty much shows you how to build an assets folder and build a folder full of these cinematic sound effects fonts this is a weird one because it doesn't really have to do much with the footage but if you're going to throw on an ugly font on your cinematic footage you're just going to destroy it, especially for title cards what i recommend you do is use the essential graphics panel in premiere pro they have plenty of examples of great title cards all you have to do is simply come to your graphics panel come to the essential graphics panel and here there's a plethora of different cinematic title cards for example here I can find a nice looking one like this and it will throw on a nice cinematic title card and you don't really have to do much animation. You can also go on a website like Daft Fonts and search up fonts yourself. In the end, it is personal preference, but just make sure it matches the mood of your film. Motion blur, super essential for cinematic footage. Regular cinematic film footage is shot normally at a 24 frames per second, unless you are in a PAL system, which is Europe, that is gonna be at 25 frames per second timeline. And how you get a motion blur is you're gonna to to use 180 shutter rule, AKA you're gonna to wanna to double the frame rate and that's gonna be your shutter speed. So here you're gonna to wanna to shoot 48, but usually only cinema cameras can do that. So DSLRs, you're gonna be shooting at 150th of a second. This will give a good, nice natural motion blur and everything will look kind of real. And the last tip, lighting. Lighting is super important for getting a cinematic look. Your image will just not be good if you don't have good lighting. If you have that overhead incandescent lighting, you're not gonna want that. Either shoot outside using good cloudy footage, use a nice soft box like I'm using right here. To learn about lighting, a good video I could recommend is Lighting 101 by, well, I'm not sure exactly what their name is. I'm gonna leave the link in below. It tells you all about lighting. It's hard lighting, soft lighting, direction of light, power of light. Question of the day for you guys. Let me know if there's anything I missed, any cinematic tips that you can give people to get your footage looking super crispy. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions, comment them below. Gently tap that like button if you learned something. Subscribe. I've got new videos coming out every single week. Ring the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I drop a video. And without further ado, creators, keep creating. Peace.